For question five, you're given a picture of a function and you're required to pick the best match for its inverse. Just remember, there are lots of ways to go about multiple choice. I mean, I know of one student who actually sketched something that looked like this in their CAS calculator and then found the inverse. I'm going to show you the way that I went about it. I decided to split the curve into two pictures. So I'll show you what that looks like. We'll set up our axes. It just makes it a bit clearer when you're reflecting in the line y equals x if you split the picture up. So we've got our two sets of axes. Now, for the first bit, we have this kind of, could be a square root graph sort of thing coming out over here. I'll redraw that. And we need to reflect in a line y equals x. So that line looks something like this. So you need to imagine this line as a mirror. Imagining this line as a mirror, the inverse to this curve is going to look something like this. It's going to be like a, it's going to re reflect like that. If you're stuck with drawing that, a good way to think about it is to assign made up points. So imagine like, I don't know, that could be negative 5, 1. Well, the inverse flips x and y. So at the end here, it should look something like 1, negative 5, which kind of does 1, negative 5 there. So that's another way to think about it if you're struggling with reflecting in that line. So that's how that part gets reflected. Let's draw the line y equals x here. And we want to reflect this straight line here. Well, you should know what that looks like. That's going to reflect like that. So our final curve is going to have this piece here and this piece here. So we need to select a curve that matches those two green pictures put together. Well, the only one that looks remotely like that is E. So our answer must be E.